positive way mm -hmm. and how they came down across with the schools in the north came down Broad Street right through to mm -hmm. Ben Franklin and Ron had his group people came up from the south and this I'll never forget that day mm -hmm. and how they came across Spring Garden with these thousands of young people that mm -hmm. demonstrated mm -hmm. and and all that they went through that day and the uh, older people that followed their leadership they and Ron going to be a gang war or something's going on, they will go and step to those brothers. And that's the one thing we're missing in our society today is that we allow people to come into our neighborhood and our communities and do negative things and nobody goes up to them and say, you can't do that here. And that's what these brothers did back in the day. Tell the story. <laughs> Same thing. In 1967, exists today. I'm saying to you, you, young men and young ladies, have to make a difference in this world. And the older folks around will have to try to help you and guide you. Because you know, there were some kings and queens that were teenagers. You didn't know that, did you? I didn't either, so I learned. I didn't learn black history. I was a grown man. I was almost 40 years old. Do I really knew about black history? So y'all got me about a couple years, all right? Sometimes when people think about history and what happened, you think about it on the surface, you know, you don't like really put yourself into it. You know, you don't think like, well, what would my response have been if I was there? You know, if I was actually a part of it, uh, how, how relevant would it have been to me? Gangs are still here and stuff like that, but, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was bad, you know, during that time, but, you know, and all of this stuff we're talking about. Um, Don't you think it's getting worse now, though? I think so. I think so. But there's a certain level of, of vision that the student leaders had at that time. So when you're sitting around and you're saying, okay, I'm going to, you know, let's get together. Because actually, you know, clearly, if you're sitting around this table right now, you're a leader. Okay? Absolutely. You're a leader. You are an individual because you've been sitting, this thing is not short. You know, I mean, we we can sit and absorb, but you know, for a young person to sit and absorb, this is a lot. And think about what you're moving on. Are you building up or are you tearing down? One of the characteristics of a great leader is very basic. Love your people. That's the very basic key to a strong leader is because they do it because they love their people. It's not about them. Y'all have a mission that you probably don't realize that you have. And the mission is based on 
a new era. And hopefully all of y'all will find some leadership role, whatever that role is, whatever career path you choose in life. And hopefully that a part of the role that you choose will give you the opportunity to demonstrate that you do love your people. In a, in a sense, we, we sort of leave the table as a closer community as a result of these conversations. And I'd like to thank the students. Thank you. Yes. 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 Yeah. Toward the end, people start to ask the students more than the students are asking. And, and, no, that's absolutely wonderful. It tells us both about your confidence as young men and women in sharing your, your own stories, but also the interests of our community in what you're going to bring forward decades from now and tell some students 40 years from now uh, when they ask you questions like, how did you make it and how did you become so successful uh, about the accomplishments? Well, and there's so much bad news that gets put out about you. Know, that, you know, you, it's, it's not hard to fall and think, oh my God, what's the world coming to? And in fact, it's probably not actually that much worse than it ever was because there are lots of good kids. It's very reassuring and very, it's really fun to meet folks like yourself.